Hi everyone, I'm Erdem from Uvision. In this video, we're going to solve the first problem in regex1.com. The website shows the solution in this hyperlink, but I want to narrate it for you to better understand how you can come up with this solution from an empty box. The problem is about matching numbers that are in specific formats. You have five positive samples to catch, and your regex pattern must not match with this negative sample. First, I want to indicate the start and end points of our regex pattern by inserting carrot and dollar signs and make an observation afterwards. Note that second sample, the second sample has, has a negative sign and the rest of them don't have any sign indicator meaning that they are positive. This observation leads to the conclusion that negative sign is an optional character indeed and we can, we can indicate optionality of the negative sign by inserting question mark afterwards. After the negative sign or no sign at all, we're expecting digits, right? And the occurrence frequency of uh, digits in any sample is at least once. So uh, in our regex pattern, I'm, I'm gonna write backslash D to indicate any digit. And the occurrence, the occurrence frequency is uh, at least once or more. So I'm going to insert a plus sign. Now, the next observation is, is that period sign is common in four samples. But before, before this period sign, we have comma trailed by some digits in the fifth sample. So we're gonna make an optional catch not to miss this fifth sample. Optional catches are realized by inserting parentheses and you can indicate its uh, frequency or just say this is an optional catch. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is an optional catch, but you could have written asterisk instead of question mark to say that. Uh, I'm expecting zero or more times of this catch. Inside the parentheses, I'm gonna catch comma and the trailing num the the trailing digits, right? So I'm just writing comma, and I'm expecting di I'm expecting digits how many times or what's the frequency at least once or more. Okay. The next observation is this period sign, right? So the period is common in four samples. So I'm gonna catch uh, those samples, but I must not exclude this integer 128 because it does not have any period sign. So the period catch will also be an optional catch. So I'm just gonna insert another parenthesis here and I'm saying this catch is optional you could have written asterisk, asterisk instead of question mark to say I'm expecting zero or more times of this catch, but uh, it's up to you, however you like. Uh, this catch gonna uh, match the period sign, so the period is indicated by backslash dot. You cannot write just dot because it matches with any character in your uh, sample set. After the dot, I'm expecting digit, right? Because in all samples, I have digit after the period sign. Then I'm writing backslash D and indicate its frequency by uh, inserting plus sign. And I say that I'm expecting one or more digit after the period. Note that in the first sample, we only have digits after the period. We have, again, only digits after the period in the second sample. And, but in the, but in the fourth sample, we had letter E. In the fifth sample, we again have only digits after the period. So this is, this catch gonna be an optional catch again. We must catch this E not to miss the fourth sample out our uh, regex pattern, okay? So, I'm gonna insert another option, another capture parentheses 
and as I said, it's going to be an optional one again. What I'm going to catch inside these parentheses, I'm going to catch the letter E, and uh, it's going to be trailed by some digits. So I'm indicating that one by writing backslash D and a plus sign. Note that we are done at this point. We matched all positive samples and we're not catching the negative sample. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.